I think we need to recognize that we all have struggles and challenges and to kind of notice what's happening in the world when we are not operating from a place of harmony and love and compassion for ourselves and for each other. And I just want everyone to always be on the path of healing themselves so that they can always be a better version of themselves. And that's not just for your own life, it's for everyone else around you. And I hope that everyone can harmonize together and to create a more beautiful world where we all live from a place of love and light and compassion and peace. Hey, I'm Jade Ellison, a multi-passionate creative based out of New York City who's obsessed with personal development and anything business from marketing, branding, creating online programs to launches and helping you step into your true self so that you can share your gifts with the world. Gain insights with manifesting, creating life on purpose and get ready to elevate yourself in ways that will surprise even you. Included in your weekly dose of inspiration, get ready to be entertained, uplifted, and encouraged to take action with simple and easy to apply tips, tools, and strategies that fit into your busy daily life, sprinkled with some woo-woo along the way. From embracing your confidence to mastering success habits, setting achievable goals, and ways to harness positive mindsets and beliefs so that you can kick self-doubt and your inner critic to the curb where they belong. Whatever's on the topic call sheet, I'll help you navigate the raw, messy, and sometimes hilarious truths of achieving success, abundance, and happiness, all while encouraging you to become the best version of yourself. So think of me as your go-to girlfriend, talking over some coffee, getting real, and giving you some amazing advice to go from hot mess to thriving success. This is the Uber Savvy Life and Biz Podcast. I had so much fun with our guest this week. Make sure you check out this bonus recap for the special episode highlights. Grab a pen, a pad, and let's jump straight in. So being in the corporate world and when I started getting this sound healing certification and really kind of developing that spiritual healing path, I looked around and saw how stressed out all of my colleagues were and that they don't have frequent or regular practices of releasing their stress so that they can maintain productivity and maintain a good emotional state to continue bringing home joy and love to their partners, to their families, right? Instead, a lot of them are bringing home that stress and everyone's just tired and they're in the cycle of that. So I saw the need for the healing in the corporate world. And one of my dreams is really to bring this form of wellness along with other modalities into the corporate world. And so along those lines, I have a current opportunity at my current job where we have this organization called the Employee Engagement Committee, and they really wanted to start up a wellness committee. And immediately my hand went up and I was like, I want to lead that. And so there was another colleague that was really interested in it as well. And we just spent a couple of days planning our first event, which is going to be in a month. And I'm going to be doing a sound healing meditation for the first half hour. Then we're going to do some meditative painting and some make your own herbal teas. And I'm just really excited to have my foot in the door to bring this and hoping that next year we can have more events where there's different forms of breath work or meditation. And just like even if it's once a month to get employees kind of starting to think about that and a way to clear their minds. I love that. I got goosebumps when you were sharing (laughs) that because I'm like, oh my God, that's going to be this new wave of harmonizing workplace balance. And I'm looking at you as being that spark that's bringing it there. And to know that that's a dream and you're already starting that, that's awesome. It's so inspiring. And it's really something that is going to resonate with a lot of our listeners. So taking that brave step and then doing that, that's super cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's something I've been thinking about doing since 2017, once I got my certification. And so, yeah, six years later, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm really doing it. I'm really nervous, but I I can't wait. I love it. I love it. And that's really in perfect alignment with this incredible quote that I'd love to leave our listeners with. Authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we're supposed to be and embracing who we are. Brene Brown. I really love that quote and really resonates with my path as well. That's awesome. 
So just to recap some things we discussed with our incredible guest today, Erica, founder of Zen Bunny Sound Healing, from taking her first leap and following her intuition to move to California and allowing herself to be in the energy of music festivals, specifically Lightning in a Bottle Festival, which helped open her up to the spiritual side of life, from yoga to creativity and to her very first experience with a sound healing, to being in the right place with the right people and meeting Anna Netanel at Shakti Sound Bath, where she got her certification for her sound healing training, to utilizing these modalities from crystal bowls, which are at the frequency of the number eight, which help ground our bodies to Mother Earth because it's the same as the Schumann resonance that Mother Earth spins, to using Tibetan sound healing bowls, which helps to balance out the speed and the frequency of our chakras, to now stepping into her new training as a Kundalini certified teacher, to tying in how this is very similar in modalities to acupuncture and how it can heal our bodies, and stepping into her true dream, which is to help those in the corporate world release stress so that they could maintain higher levels of productivity and bring home joy at the end of the day instead of stress. Erica, you are a light. I appreciate you so much. I'm so thankful that you came on to the show. Is there anything else that you'd like to leave our listeners with today? I think we need to recognize that we all have struggles and challenges and to kind of notice what's happening in the world when we are not operating from a place of harmony and love and compassion for ourselves and for each other. And I just want everyone to always be on the path of healing themselves so that they can always be a better version of themselves. And that's not just for your own life, it's for everyone else around you. And I hope that everyone can harmonize together and to create a more beautiful world where we all live from a place of love and light and compassion and peace. That was so beautiful. That just gave me such incredible goosebumps. You're incredible. I adore you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I created my own <laughs> tears just now. <laughs> and they're beautiful. They're beautiful tears. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so curious which one of the highlights from this special guest resonated with you the most. Circle that and give it some thought over the next 24 to 48 hours. And if it applies to you, make sure you put it into action because knowledge plus inspiration equals incredible results. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Uber Savvy Life and Biz podcast. That was awesome. We appreciate you. Stay committed to your vision, take consistent action, and know that great things are on the other side of that door. Because remember, only you hold the key to unlock your dream life. So why not start today? I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Can I just say, you're awesome. You just finished an episode of the Uber Savvy Life and Biz podcast. If you like this episode, feel free to leave a nice review and rate it five stars if you found it helpful. But if not, please don't rate it four stars. Just ignore this part. However, if you did like it, make sure you share it with a friend who may find some value in the topics discussed today. Be sure to share it with them because you never know who you could uplift. Also, if you want more, check out the show notes in the description, which would include any links that may have been mentioned in this episode. Are you still listening? Are you waiting for a blooper reel? That'd be a really fun idea to throw in at times. But seriously, are you tired of foggy mornings? Go to jadeellison.com to grab your ultimate caffeine-free boost to supercharge your mornings for success. That's right, your empowered morning mindset checklist. Y'all, great day is just a thought away. Awesome, great job, girl. <laughs> we went on so many tangents. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... Oh my God, you're amazing. You're amazing. You did it. You fucking rock. Thank you. I feel like there was still so much I wanted to say, but yeah. And today we have a super special guest with us, Erica Tisbol. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was going to say that again. Simbalov. Erica Simbalov. Erica, Erica Tisbol. You have Erica it. Tim no, I'm going to say it. Just if you could say Erica T. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I got it. I got it. Mm. I'm going to say it again. I always give myself two things to do. And you could do that too when you're like recording for yourself anything that you want. I always have two takes. Not two takes of the entire podcast that we're doing. I'm just like, <laughs> intro. Like the beginning, you know? Take one. We can spend all day. No, like, Jade, you're going to work all day. Oh my God. 
seriously, thank you so much for being here. You're awesome. (laughs) Have a beautiful day. You too, sweetie.